Hello everyone. Let us just go through a few of the points that we had seen in the last session about Git. So we were talking about version control and uh, initially we started with uh, the basic local version system where individual uh, where individuals keep version 1, version 2 and version 3. So th what this does is it makes multiple copies of your file. So there was a need for centralized uh, version control system and uh, uh, tools like CVS, Subversion, Perforce uh, uh, allowed uh, developers to work collaboratively and they allowed other people to know uh, what others were working on. However, there were a lot of downsides as listed here that uh, most obvious is a single point of failure that centralized server represent. If the server goes down for an about an hour then during that hour nobody can collaborate or do their changes so, and also the uh, if the centralized uh, database uh, goes for a toss and uh, then you really do not have the copy and you lose all the history and all that stuff. So um, centralized version system had got its own limitations uh, but when uh, so that's the reason distributed version control system uh, seems to be a, uh, a better bet because you can see that uh, you can have the entire copy on the uh, server computer and uh, uh, everyone uh, let's say uh, developer A uses a computer A and developer B uses computer B they still have their own uh, database and uh, you can see that the entire history is uh, mirrored over there right so uh, there are a lot of advantages what distributed version control provides um, we can see it in uh, uh, we can go through a lot of uh, uh, websites that are available in, uh, in the internet so just to to start with a start short history of why uh, why git was developed uh, created and who created it um, so it has got a history about uh, the linux project being stored in uh, um, a proprietary bitkeeper uh, which was a distributed version control and somehow the relations between them uh, went sour in 2005 and uh, uh, Linus Torvalds, uh, creator of Linux, wanted to create uh, something which is open source uh, and uh, um, he created uh, uh, this Git. So uh, the main philosophies were that the, it has to be fast, it has to be simple to design and support non-linear development and it has to be distributed just like uh, your any other DBC, uh, DBCS. Right, uh, so uh, before we go into the commands on the screen, uh, the biggest differences uh, we have to understand is uh, Git uh, stores snapshot but not the differences like uh, any other version control system like Subversion, Perforce, Bazaar and so on. So you can see that these are uh, other tools which use snapshots between the file changes but when it comes to Git it stores the snapshot of the file suppose there was a change in the version 3 then it st stores the snapshot that does not mean that it duplicates it it has got its own proprietary mechanism to store the differences in uh, sha and all that stuff so uh, you can go through the details uh, in few other websites uh, then uh, because everyone has got a copy you can see that nearly every operation is local because you have got uh, the moment you uh, clone a particular uh, repo everything comes to your uh, uh, system uh, right from the first version and you get the entire history so everything is local so git has got integrity it uses sha1 uh, hash um, uh, and it checks some uh, each and everything so git generally adds only the data uh, you can read through this content and this is what is most important about the three stage thinking that we were discussing about in the session so git has got something called as a working directory staging directory and a git dot git repo which is a, a dot git directory which is a repository so you can think working directory as a stage one staging as a stage two and a git dot git repo di dot git directory as a stage three right so um, in the uh, in the image that I had created for my own understanding, you can imagine Git as a three-stage process, as a three different steps. And the first step, uh, you can think that uh, it's a working directory, and uh, whatever you add into that initially starts as untracked. So unless and until you ask Git to add it to the staging, it does not get tracked. So Git does not care unless and until you uh, specifically say Git add the file name. Right. So once you uh, ask Git to add a particular file name, 
git starts tracking it and uh, for after that whatever changes you make it starts uh, uh, tracking the changes so a file can be in a tracked or untracked state in uh, working directory uh, so once you have added a file from working directory to staging uh, you can further commit it to your repository by using git commit minus m and the file name so like uh, the way we have done is we have added a file on a working directory we have uh, um, then added it to staging and this gets uh, tracked and further you add it to the repository by committing it uh, now you can see that um, you can even uh, get back the files from repo back to staging using git reset hard or soft commands hard means uh, it uh, resets back and removes the changes if you do dash dash soft it um, uh, removes the content back from the repository back to it puts back to staging but it still retains it there so in a similar way there's a git reset command between staging and working directory where uh, you can uh, uh, bring back the command uh, bring back the file which was on the staging back to the working directory all right so the third uh, thing um, to understand over here is you can always see the difference between the working directory and the staging by using a git diff command and on a similar lines you can see the difference between staging and repo by using git diff dash dash staged okay right so now we have uh, had enough of theory and i think we can go ahead with a little bit of a uh, command line directly right so what I'm trying to do now here is I'm trying to create a new directory. Let me create a new directory by name GB practice right and then I CD into it. So right so uh, after I CD into it I write PWD which is a print working directory to check where I am and once I'm inside I try to do ls minus al to check uh, what are the contents of the folder so you can see there is dot and double dot right now this is still uh, a blank folder and it does not have a git repository so how do you initialize a git repository so uh, the command is pretty simple you have to just write git in it and type it and you can see that the git tells that initialized uh, empty git repository in per this particular folder right so uh, I'll do ls minus al one more time and I see dot double dot and dot git repository you can go into dot git but it uh, this, this is the repository that git stores everything all the data all the changes and everything is within this the entire history will be here right so first and foremost thing you have created something but uh, even before you start you need to tell git who you are what's your email and there are a lot of things that you can do So let's start with the most basic command which is git config dash dash global and I will have to tell who I am. I will provide my name. Then I say git config dash dash uh, global user dot email and I provide my email. then I provide git config dash dash global color dot ui is true right right so uh, let's say that I try to do the same thing but I want to have a separate local configuration as well so I'll just change to local and uh, uh, just to see So I'll just change it as local just to see how does it change and even the email I will change it to yahoo.com sorry I'll change this to yahoo.com my alternate email ID right then I'll see git config dash dash list and you can see that there is a local configuration which is specific to this and there is a global configuration as well so these uh, are changed right okay right then so what we have done so far is we have set up a global configuration uh, for our git repo uh, as of now and uh, 
even before we go ahead let's just see what are the contents of the file so you can see that there's nothing that has been added up so let's start with uh, the most basic uh, thing uh, that uh, I will try to create a particular file so I'll use a let's say first file dot txt I open that file and then I say uh, the first file first file or let's say first file first line okay I escape right quit this file uh, what I have done at this point let me see its status it says that something has been added uh, some something is untracked so git says there is something in the folder that you asked me uh, there is there's something in this folder that has come up so I don't know what to do about it so git tells you a clue what to be done next so git says that if you have to add if you have to add this file if you want to start tracking this file please add it so what we do is git add file name right so after adding it run the git status command one more time and you can see that uh, it tells that it, this shows in a green color so you have to understand that this is in staged so it's in the second step so you can see from the comment that it says use git rm dash dash cast and the file name to unstage it so it means that this has gone from your working directory to staged right so at this point of time if i come back and open the file one more time and I write a per, uh, I write second line. Let's see what happens. I save it and quit it and run the git status command one git status command one more time. Right? Now it's you can see that it's it's also in the working directory and it's also in the staging area. But what's the difference between these two? You can see that um, this has got the latest modifications while this does not have the uh, the second line that we have added over here uh, but git has git is not telling that it is untracked why because we have already added it to the staging git now knows that whatever whatever changes in the first file needs to be tracked so let's see if this is true let me create another file called second file txt and uh, i write this is second file I save it and put it right so let me run git status one more time now let me clear it and see it again git status now you can see that second file is untracked while the first file is tracked and at this point first file on the staging has got just the one line whereas the working directory has got two lines and second file is untracked and it's also in the working directory okay so let me add the file which is in staging uh, let me commit that so how do i commit that get commit minus m in the file name so what do i give adding first file or let, let me have a simple thing i'll call it as a first commit So we have committed the file which was on the staging so let us look at its status one more time and you can see that uh, the file is still there in the working directory but however the changes to the file in the staging has been committed so how do you see that so when you click git log hyphen hyphen online you see that there is a first commit over there right so now let's look at uh, another way of uh, committing where you commit not only the file which is in the staging but also the file which were tracked and which are in working directory so to do that let's do something let's open the first file one more time and make some changes to this file escape right quit and uh, git add first file and do git status and you see that there is a first file which is in staging which has got three lines and the second file which is still untracked so at this point i would like to open first file one more time and make further changes which will be only in your working directory right and right quick 
now you do git status one more time and you can see that first file is there in staging as well as in working directory but the staging has got three lines and working directory has got four lines so at this point of time if you use git commit minus a adding the file which is this minus a refers to adding the file in the working directory as well add and then commit then let's say some commit message right when you do git status now you can see that let me clear it and do the git status one more time you can see that everything has been added except the untracked files right so let's see the log also yeah you can see that there are two commits that have happened right now let us look at uh, git reset and git diff commands so i will create a new file called a.txt and i'll write uh, apple escape write quit and we do git status and we see that a.txt is there in your working directory right it's still untracked so what we do is we do git add dot dot should never be used git add a.txt and do git status one more time and we see that a.txt is in your staging staging area now how do you bring this back so you can see that there is a command which is git reset head file name so git reset head a.txt once you do that do git status one more time and you can see that file has come back from your staging environment to your working directory let's uh, let's put it back on staging git add a.txt once we add there look at the status you see that a.txt has gone back to staging it's not in your working directory at this point of time try to edit a.txt on your working directory and try to add something else which is aeroplane escape write and quit and do git status one more time you will see that a.txt is there in staging as well as your working directory but it is tracked now at this point if you want to see the difference you will have to do git diff and you will see the difference the added one is coming in green right now let's say that um, I want to I want to add this to staging so what do we do we do git add a dot text again and do git diff one more time and you will not see anything because of the working directory and your staging are pretty much the same because the file is not there and there's no change at all right now let's take this a dot text to a next level and uh, make some uh, uh, move it to move it to the repository so how do you do it git commit minus m and say third commit right so now if you do git log dash dash one line you will see that there are three commits right now at this point of time you try to open a dot text one more time and you will see a an aeroplane you would want to come back and change it to something else and make it to and escape right quit sorry escape right quit right do git status one more time you will see that a dot text is there in staging area is in working directory you have to add it to staging and staging area once you add it run git status one more time so uh, the trick is to run git status as many times as possible so that you understand what's going on let's clear it and write git status one more time and you can see that a.txt is there in staging now now at this point of time if you have to see the difference between the repo and the staging it has to be git diff dash dash staged and you can see the difference 
on the staging there is an and that has been added but on the repo apple and aeroplane have been added but if you have to see the difference between uh, uh, staging and working directory there isn't any you can see because uh, there's no changes between these two now uh, now let's say that we commit this file so how uh, we commit this a dot text to the repo so how do you commit that git commit minus a minus m sorry third fourth commit adding and right and do git log dash dash one line you will see that there's a fourth commit that has got an ant right now now you want to bring this back and you said that no i do not want to add ant at all so what do you do the same git reset command can work here git reset uh, git reset dash dash soft the dash dash soft says that it brings uh, it uh, brings back the changes to staging area but it does not delete them so git reset soft head and you allow to provide this caps and when you do that and do git status one more time you will see that a dot text has come back so to confirm this you will have to do git log dash dash one line one more time and you will see that the third commit is there just to confirm that everything is right what you can do is um, you can uh, you can go and open this particular file Just to confirm that the uh, the file is bought back and still available in staging environment, open that file, and you can see ant is there in the staging environment. Right. Uh, so let's do quit this again and add this one more time. Git commit minus m fourth commit adding ant. Right. And do git status one more time you don't see the uh, a dot text in staging environment do uh, but it will be in the repository but th this time you would want to bring the file a dot text which is in the repo back to staging and delete it immediately so that is where you use dash dash hard so so you have to use git reset dash dash hard and head caps now when you see git log dash dash one line you see the same three commits the fourth commit is not there but when you do git status you don't even see that a dot text in that file right so we have seen preset and we have seen the diff uh, between working directory and staging area and also we have seen the same commands between staging area and the repository